I understand we're going to go across uh, to uh, Brigadier now. It's, this is Brigadier Vish Naidu regarding that surge of COVID cases. Uh, Vish Naidu, hello. I know uh, you have uh, got on top of this story for us. We've just been speaking to the Eastern Cape Health Department. Uh, it almost beggars a, uh, an explanation as to how this was even able to take place uh, with almost 300 people in one establishment. Yeah, indeed, it's, it's seriously concerning for us as well. We're looking into this in terms of the disaster management regulations, in terms of contravention of the disaster management regulations as we speak. But I think uh, what is important here is, you know, our constant call uh, for the public to give us information on people that are converging and gathering in numbers that is uh, exceeding the, uh, um, the numbers as outlined in terms of the disaster management regulations. We are getting calls on a regular basis, particularly in areas such as like your taverns and uh, pubs and so forth, where uh, the convergence of people is, is quite high and, of course, the lack of uh, interest in people to wear PPEs and maintain social distancing and so forth. And we are responding and, and, and attending to that accordingly. This story of at Forte is, of course, very discouraging because we are still in the midst of, uh, of uh, a state of disaster. We're still in the midst of a lockdown because the virus is very much... Um, you know, among us, and, uh, and it's, it's very disappointing that people are not adhering to the very limited restrictions that we have. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's level one, not level none, Brigadier, and this is why I don't quite understand exactly. why people just aren't getting this. I'd like to talk just to legalities quickly, if you can help me understand. I think uh, for those watching at home, to get a better sense of just how seriously SAPS is taking this, tell me what's going to happen to the establishment that allowed some 300, ironically, nursing students uh, yeah. into an establishment. There's an irony for you. Two, the people that have now contracted COVID-19, obviously wishing all of them well, hoping for a speedy recovery, but they've contracted it because they were in violation of lockdown regulations. Are they going to face any kind of charges uh, knowing well, they contracted it because they were breaking the law? Well, let me just take you back very quickly to when we were at level five, when we had people who suspected that they were, or who were suspected to have contracted the virus and were asked to remain in self-quarantine self and self-isolation, but instead went, uh, left their establishments and went across borders of the provinces and so forth. We even went to an extent of charging them for attempted murder. I don't know if you'd recall that. Mm -hmm. this, is something that this is something that we might seriously consider now. We are in discussions with the National Prosecuting Authority on this. Of course, we, we, have, um, we are currently investigate, investigating a case in terms of the contravention of the disaster management regulation at the very least. But we're going to explore this further because, um, uh, you know, um, one would have to conduct a re reasonable man test in this kind of situation to see what a reasonable man would have done in a situation like this. And I don't think a reasonable man, knowing that you're not allowed to converge in such l large numbers, would have allowed that. Now, the problem is not with the people that have converged there, it, but it is with the establishment that allowed them to converge there. Because in our regulations, we say that the people that can be prosecuted for this are managers, owners, people running those kind of establishments. So this is something that we're going to look at, of course, but we are treating it in a very serious light, and we're going to see to what extent we can, in a more serious way, mm. uh, bring about criminal charges against those responsible. Mm, yeah, some 300 people being allowed into an establishment, I think, deserves the full might of the law. Brigadier uh, Vishnaidu, uh, National Commissioner Spokesperson uh, from SAP, is joining us here on Upfront on a Sunday afternoon.